guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kayla, and today we are reviewing the Kylie Eye of the Storm palette. For weight and price and everything like that, I'm going to be comparing this palette to the Modern Renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills because I do not have the Soft Glam palette, so I don't know anything about the weight if it's accurate, if it's the same as this one, because formulas do change. As we all know from the Subculture palette that I didn't buy because I didn't want to... Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, for the Eye of the Storm palette, actually, it says 10 shades for 0 0.90 ounces each for 9 ounces total. Now, this threw me off a little bit, so I was looking at my palette, and I went back to the website. The website says 10 Kai shadows for 0 0.90 ounces and 0 0.03 grams. However, on the palette, if you look at it very closely, it says 10 for 0 0.03 ounces and 10 for 0 0.90 grams. So they have um, this flip-flop, which makes more sense on the palette than it does on the website. So I'm going to give them a little bit of a, a slide. They're working on a lot of things. Some things are messed up. But just so you guys know, Kylie Cosmetics, your website is a flip-flop from the palette, which comes out to a total of 0.3 ounces, which is 0 0.02 ounces more than my Modern Renaissance palette. My Modern Renaissance palette comes out to, there's 14 shades at 0 0.02 ounces each, equaling to 0.28 ounces total. And this retails for $42. This retails for $40. So, and this one, I love the idea of it. I love the story behind it. Is it an everyday palette? We'll see. When I was looking at it, it didn't look like it to me. So we will see how I do with it. But we're going to go ahead and put this on our eyes and see if we like it or not. See if it's worth the $40 and if the pigmentation is awesome. This also does say that it has medium buildable coverage. I don't know how I feel about that if I'm paying $40. I kind of just want it to be very pigmented. And this is the palette right here out of the packaging. It has Kylie Jenner on the front and it has lightning bolts all over it, which is cute, representing her daughter Stormy. So cute. And this is the palette for you. On her Snapchat, I was like, I feel like I could fuck with this palette. I feel like I could fuck with this palette. And looking at it in person, this is a really, really, really nice palette. Okay, so we have four mattes. We have three satin shades and then three metallics. I'm really looking at this yellow right here and I wanna see how I'm gonna play with it. So let's get started. So I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade medium. I really need to get a new one, but your girl is holding off. She's holding on to this for dear life because your girl does not like to spend money. I'm gonna go in, I wanna see if this will be a great transition shade because for other people of lighter skin tones, this is like a taupey, like on camera it looks very lilac-y rose. I'm gonna go ahead and try and throw that as a transition shade in the crease and then we'll work from there. But, oh girl, <laughs> uh, hold up, wait a minute. Whoa, this is a little light there, buddy. A little light there and I didn't um it doesn't I mean it doesn't look bad but it's not what I was expecting like most shades don't go lighter on me like whenever I apply them to my lid they usually go darker oh my gosh on camera that looks uh terrifying so I'm just gonna match it to the other side okay I'm a little nervous all right wish me luck So I'm gonna take Whirlwind and uh, apply that in the crease to deepen it up because this seems like it's the only thing that could save my life right now. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a beautiful color. So far, it doesn't look bad. I actually like the uh, how I'm able to build up this color just in case if it didn't work out right, but I'm actually really loving this color as opposed to the other two. The other two aren't bad, it's just not something I would throw in the crease. Uh, cool tones, yeah, I learned my lesson. This nude looked all right, but um, there's really nothing in this palette that I can throw in the crease, and I really wanted to do an all-over eyelid look with this palette. So, won't be using these two for the crease ever again. I thought maybe 
I could get away with this one, but on camera it looks way more cold tone than it does in person. So I'm gonna be taking Moon and Back all over my lid just because I love this shade. Like this shade is just everything I could ask for in a color, but it's too basic for me. So I really wanna take Moon and Back. I wanted to take this uh, shade right here, which is Stargaze. And because it has a bit of blue um, glitters to it, but I'm gonna be taking Moon and Back all over my lid just because I want to throw in the yellow, which is light year, uh, on the inner corner. So we're gonna see how this turns out. So then we're gonna go in right here. You know what? I was trying this without throwing Flix Plus on it, but girl, this is patchy. Mm, okay. Um, this is. Do you see that? There's like nothing on the bottom right here. So the shade was kind of a fail. We're gonna throw some Fix Plus on the brush. See if that does the trick. I mean, I don't know what else to do. It looks like super bomb on the finger. So I'm gonna have to take my finger real quick. incredibly patchy incredibly patchy I'm just gonna keep working with it because I really want this to work out like I really want that yellow shade in my inner corner and I can't see myself using any other shade on my lid to do so oh my gosh rush oh my that's on my finger like this is there's no pigmentation this is seriously build buildable okay uh crap let's let's try my morphe m124 brush and see if that gives me anything girl girl i am oh my god i can't i can't like i really want this to i really want this to work out so i'm like I'm like really annoyed right now because it's like why did it, how did this I don't know how this passed I don't know I'm like a little stunned okay I guess stargaze a little dude stargaze is super pigmented it's just well it's just a uh, moon and back that's kind of like okay uh, let's throw a little bit of stargaze on there I didn't want this to be a smoky, I really didn't. Um, okay. I know I'm using the wrong brush, I just don't really want it to be that pigmented. So I'm gonna take some whirlwind and go on my lower lash line right here. Kinda makes me look like raccoon eyes, but I, I like it better than what it was looking like. So I'm gonna go in the inner corner with light ear. Oh, that looks promising. Um, let's see how this goes. Yes, bitch. So I'm going to apply some liner, some lashes, and get back to you guys. So this is the finished look I came up with with the Eye of the Storm palette. I have to say, I'm not completely disappointed with this palette. I think some shades need a little bit of work. But besides that, the mattes are amazing, the metallics are amazing, uh, this is super pigmented, has a little bit of kickback. The satins, like I said, they need a little bit of work. Uh, again, I only used one satin, so it could have just been that this satin that wasn't just performing as well. Is this a palette I would pick up or I would recommend? You don't really need it, it's on an everyday palette. It's something that if you are an Instagrammer or do really cool looks, this is something you can pick up. Would I recommend it? Probably not. It's not for the everyday, everyday kind of score. It's just too expensive when you can buy something that is less expensive that you can use every day. This isn't something I can use a complete look with, basically is what I'm saying. So if you don't have too, too much money and you need a palette that is going to perform all the way around you can use it like throw it in your bag and just be like hey this is all I need use it no this is more like an editorial palette I'm happy I got to review this for you guys let me know in the comments down below 
if there's something I missed, if there's something that you guys would like for me to um, do in the future, if I do another review, what can I touch up on, just so I can get better at this and leave a comment down below also on if you think that this is a great collection overall. Don't forget to hit that like button if you guys enjoyed this review and also hit that subscribe button to join the family of queens and kings and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye guys!